hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Gone Home. <laughs> uh, you're going to be saying, uh, let's play what? Because <laughs> this game is uh, its just been released less than a week ago. And uh, as far as I can tell, it's uh, a game that's going to be flying under a lot of people's radars. It's a sort of indie based game. And it's a game that's very different from a lot of games out there. There's no combat, there's no weapons, there's no monsters, there's no traps to trip over and kill yourself on, um, so it's it's a little bit different. I have I was alerted to this game over on my forum, somebody posted uh, this game in a suggestion thread uh, for a potential LP. I looked at the suggestion and thought, uh, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I've never heard of the game. Did a little bit of research and uh, hence Two days later, after finding out about the game, I am now going to give it a spin. So yeah, it's, a, it's a sh quite a short game, so it's a side LP, perfect for just doing on the side when you're bored. Uh, I've I've done all my LPing for the week, pretty much. I've played Crusade, uh, Crusader Kings. I've played uh, Skyrim for two hours this morning, I played uh, Dwarf Fortress for an hour yesterday, I played uh, Sims yesterday, I played The Witcher today, so all my main LPs I've played and now I've sat here and bored out of my brain thinking what the hell do I want to do? Uh, and uh, I thought, you know what, I'm going to delve into this, why not? It's only 600 or 500 and odd megabytes to download on Steam, so you can download it in literally about 10 minutes and uh, dive straight into it and, and give it a blast. Now this is completely blind, so I haven't even set the functions up yet. I don't even know what the keys are or nothing, so you'll have to bear with me as I get the game set up. Uh, the graphics, we're playing in the full resolution. The brightness, we're going to adjust the brightness of touch. Just because uh, I'm recording this using Bandicam, actually, rather than Fraps. Just because I, I don't want to be messing about with the audio, and Bandicam records the audio separately. So it's pretty handy. Uh, high graphics quality, of course. Uh, we'll go for max. Why not? Full screen, yes indeed. Uh, advanced options, uh, all this on. Max distance, field of view. This is all the dead generic settings here. I reckon the uh, controls will be very straightforward just because you can't attack anything, it's just moving about really, so uh, I think we'll have a look at the uh, rebind controls. We can actually use a controller, but I'm going to use the keyboard. So C is to crouch, that's easy. View backpack is 1, left mouse to interact, view map is 2. Journals is 3, so 1, 2 and 3 are options keys. Zoom with the right mouse button. Where the hell is this? There we go. And W, S, A and D. So as you can see, very minimal controls. Very minimal. And if you, you know, this is absolutely ideal, as I say, for a quick playthrough when you're, when you're bored out of your brain. Sound. Everything should be on. Hopefully the sound volumes won't be too overpowering. I might turn it down. I can adjust it. I can adjust it in Sony Vegas if I need to. Gameplay. Yeah. Training messages. Yeah. Okay, they have everything in the, in the, in the standard setting. So, so uh, yeah, this is Gone Home. Now, the, the, the basis of this game is you're apparently are a, a, I think you're a girl that's gone away for a year, gone off somewhere to, I don't know, to college or something, and you come back a year later to where your family is supposed to be waiting for you with arms open wide. Hello, dear, you're back. Oh, it's good to see you. You walk through the door, and the house is completely empty. Your family have disappeared. Where are they? Where have they gone to? That's what you need to find out. You explore the house and the story will unfurl itself before you and you'll find out what happened to your family and where they've gone, I think. So uh, yes indeed, let's get de delving in shall we? Arrow keys to walk, that's reasonable enough. You're looking around using the mouse, reasonable enough. Uh, modifiers, I don't know what that means, all lights start on. For those who don't like the dark, no, nope, we'll leave the lights off to start with. There's nothing that can jump out and scare you, so it shouldn't be an issue. Disable the map. No, we'll leave the map on. Unlock all doors. Nah. 
Disable voice diaries. No, that's fine. Leave everything as they are. Okay, so we are ready to start the game. Now, this is basically the introductory video, so there's no gameplay. It's just me setting the game up and explaining what it's about and why I'm doing it. And plus, it's going to give me a chance to check the settings and then resume in the next part. So join me in the next part when we shall uh, start playing Gone Home. 